Hey everybody, this is Joby. Today I want to show you guys how to get attunable tables and where to go to attune them. I'm not actually going to attune any tables just because as you can see, we have all the tables in my guild and um, I went and attuned every single set here. Like I said before, I'm sorry for the disarray of the guild house. We're moving stuff around because you need a lot of spaces. So what you first need to do is to do master writs because you can buy it with vouchers you can buy them with uh, gold but they're really expensive like 250,000 each or something like that it's uh, it's not worth it what you need to do is master writs so we go to inventory supplies this is a sealed clothier writ and it's uh, gonna be uh, a silk hat trade is Nernhoned and uh, the no the style noble conquest is the set and the style is Sea Giant. Now I know all the Sea Giants, so I'll be able to do that. Make sure you know the style and the piece. So you have to have helmets for Sea Giant. And I do have all those. So uh, the reward is 148 rib vouchers. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it. And the nice thing is it puts a little arrow where Noble Conquest is. Okay, so we go over here. It'd be nice if they'd tell you if you had it or not. But what are you going to do? So we go here. We go to Creation. As you can see, there's an arrow right there that shows me that's what I need to make. So I'm just going to make this one. You want to have quest, like also you want to press Y and have quest only checked off on there. And then it'll, it'll be the right one. So now we go to improvement. Okay. And what we want to do is take hat of noble conquest and then press X, improve. It's legendary, so it's going to take a bunch of uh, uh, Drew Wax. And then we uh, improve again. Then we improve again. Last one is going to be uh, Drew Wax 8. Expensive. I have a lot from doing rids and gathering and refining materials, so uh, I don't mind to do this. I, I did probably 30, 40 sets in the house no less than that I probably did 30 30 of these sets I did the writs and uh, bought the tables and then every table I went and attuned them so right now we're gonna go and turn this in and get the writs from Rallis Halalu that's his name so we go here here we're gonna go to Deshaun good old Deshaun my home base and there we go we'll see you there alright we've landed in uh, Mornhold. I'm going to go out here where the arrow is through the door. Head southish. Go here. Finished. 148 vouchers. If we look in the store, I have 605. And if we go down here, this is how you buy them. Now you're going to be surprised because they're real expensive. Don't buy these. Those are just normal tables. The attunables are much more expensive. 250 each. So for the four tables you need to do writs, that's a thousand rip vouchers okay so imagine 65 sets is 65,000 rip vouchers just insane I mean it's like uh, a huge job and I got helped by many many people in the guild uh, very thankful to all them as you can see right here uh, I have a set of tables sent to be my good friend Goodson and uh, Everything is his fault, by the way. Just got to say, you know, let you know that. He sent me four tables, so we already have a bunch saved up. I have three sets of attunables ready for when the next patch that has craftable tables drops. And some people were asking me, too, where do they get Order's Wrath? And I'm going to show you where to get it. It'll be in High Isle over here. And it's right here. Steadfast Hammer and Claw. And I'll just go here, and we'll see there. All right, so we're in uh, High Isle now. Just come to the which Coral Road Way Shrine. And then you just go over here, and you have your four tables, attunable tables that you bought from, you know, Rallis Halalu. Halalu. Halalala. These will be the tables. Once you walk into this area, you'll see the Master Crafter sign. Orders Wrath. Now, once you're at a table or in the area, you're good to go. And if you have those tables in your inventory, what you do is just open it up and then you'll go ahead and 
I'll just take these out and show what's going on. Take these tables. Delete that message. Thank you, Goodson. You, you, you're a good man. And then we go to inventory. I'm not going to attune these. We have orders wrath, and it'd just be a waste. And they're in slottable items right here. And they will, they will appear in just a moment. I have a lot of surveys. Have you noticed? So all you have to do is you're in here, and if I press A, it'll attune the blacksmithing station to orders wrath. And then he'll raise his hand up in the air and then bring his hand down and then you can do the next one. Like I said, I'm not going to do it. We already have an Order's Wrath set and it's just a waste of, of vouchers and waste of tables. So there's no reason to do it. But that's how you do it. If anybody's interested, you just place the tables in the guild house or in the house that belongs to you. The person that attunes the tables, you need to know that they become bound. So... Make sure whoever owns the house that's going to be, that the tables are going to be placed, is the person that attunes, attunes them or is the person that goes there. Because as soon as I tune those sets, I can give those sets to anybody when they're blank. But as soon as I tune them, they're bound to me. And anything you want to put into your house, if it's a furnishing, has to be given to you first before you can put it down. So if somebody else attunes the tables... They cannot give them to you, and so they have to put them in their house. Kind of a waste. So uh, it's best for one person. You're going to have the guild house, or if it's just your personal house, then you go attune them, and then you come back. You can buy the blanks, but they're probably two hundred fifty thousand. That's real expensive. You know, this video, uh, my good friend Ferdinand Osuba. Maybe you've seen in the comments that he always fist bumps me in the comment section and he's been doing that every day since he started watching the channel shout out to you Ferdinand or Ferdy as we call him in the discord and uh, he's a very awesome person and a friend of the upper echelon mediocrity YouTube channel thank you very much all right well that's about it for today so please give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content leave a comment in the comment section do you have all the tables are you trying to get them uh, you know, are you interested in doing that? Do you do Master Ritz? That's, uh, you know, something. It uh, costs quite a bit of resources and you need to farm a lot. My suggestion is to do your surveys, refine materials, and then you'll get all the gold mats. And I do it every day. I get, you know, but I, I do crafting on 14 characters. So I get like four uh, chromium platings a week, probably 20 tempers and all the other, you know, materials every single week and kudas massive amount of kudas from doing all those characters so there's lots of benefits to doing that join me on discord the most chill discord server on the planet there's a link in the description and if you're not doing anything if you team him edt follow me on twitch upper echelon mediocrity is the name of the channel just one word if you're on xbox north american server you can join my guild my guild's name is upper echelon mediocrity just like the youtube channel and right now we have 486 total members no members pending, 37 people online, and uh, lots of helpful, friendly people. All you need to do is stay active in chat, look in chat for what's going on, play with us during the day, and uh, you can rank up and even get bank access, but I have to know you. We're not in the Guild Finder, so you need to send me a message on Xbox. My name is Coyote, C-H-A-O-T-E-Y, and I'll get you in as soon as time permits, and whatnot. All right, so until that time, let's get paid. Thank you.